say beautiful weather but it's hey it's not raining it's not snowing right so we got that going for us it's always a proud moment to be able to come here and participate uh, in this stand down uh, I'd like to recognize and thank of course all the folks that organize this and uh, who work every year to, to bring this on I think this is eighth or ninth year I think we're on our 12th we're 12th 12th yeah. year okay I'm off and uh, I know we couldn't do it during COVID uh, but also, of course, we do this in honor and remembrance of our veterans. And uh, it's so important, as you know, it was about 35 years ago that the first stand down uh, was held, organized by the Veterans uh, Department. And since that time, it has spread across the country. And so for apparently almost 12 years now, uh, we've been able to do this here in Madison County and the, the city of Anderson. And so again, I wanna thank all the organizers for all the things that you guys have done. Uh, I can tell you, I know from past years, it's always really a great event and certainly all of the organizations that participate, uh, the folks that have their booths set up inside, 
always give a great deal of service to the folks uh, who served our country so well. So to the veterans that are here today, I'd like to obviously honor my thanks for your service, those of you who served either in the time of war or in the time of peace. Uh, but for your efforts, we would not be able to enjoy the freedoms that we all enjoy today uh, here in our great country. And so to be able to honor you today, and more importantly, to provide to you some of the services uh, that you need. As you all know, it's unfortunate that we just simply have too many folks that served our country who today are either homeless or near homeless or who are without the resources that they need. And despite all the efforts uh, in, in our laws and Congress over the years to provide uh, benefits, uh, there are many great benefits. There are certainly more that can be done. And this is one way that we can give back and make available and make sure that the, the benefits that we do have are available and that they're known to our veterans. So I look forward today for the various folks who are not just here right now, but who come later throughout the day, because I know this will run to about two today. If you know somebody that's a veteran that aren't here today, reach out and let them know this is going on in order that they can come and take part of it. So on behalf of the city of Anderson, I'd like again to thank the organizers, and I particularly want to again give special thanks to all of our veterans. Thank you. Hi, I'm, I'm Steve Sheets. I'm the Interim Associate Director for VA Northern Indiana Healthcare System. Uh, on behalf of Mr. Anthony Colon, our director, and the rest of our leadership team, uh, I'd like to thank all of you for attending today and uh, thank all of our community partners for putting this on. This, uh, I used to be the uh, chief of our social work department, so I've been to just about every stand down uh, north of Indianapolis, and uh, this, is, this is truly one of the uh, most well-organized ones that I've seen. Um, I do want to take an opportunity um, to make you aware of a couple of recent pieces of legislation that have been passed that really expands uh, care for veterans, and that would be the PACT Act and the Compact Act. The PACT Act is a new law that expands VA health care benefits for veterans exposed to burn pits and other toxic substances. Um, this law will help us provide generations of veterans and their survivors with care and benefits that they've earned and deserved. And, and basically it expands and extends eligibility for VA health care for veterans with toxic exposures and that includes open burn pits, golf-related exposures, Agent Orange, uh, radiation, Camp Lejeune, uh, contaminated water exposure, and, and other exposures. I, I would just like to encourage you, if you're, if you're already enrolled or if you've been told you don't qualify for VA health care in the past, um, please contact us and, and get a toxic exposure screening. Uh, it really has expanded uh, the eligibility for several uh, veterans, so I would like to encourage you to take part in that screening. The Compact Act is one that I'm really excited about. Uh, it was implemented this past January, and it expands um, the ability for the VA to provide, pay for, or reimburse uh, emergent treatment for eligible veterans experiencing an acute suicidal crisis. Uh, what this allows us to do is that um, veterans can go to any emergency room and know that we're going to pay for their care. Uh, we are getting that word out to all of the local emergency rooms and, and all of our uh, community partners, uh, but I want to make sure that veterans know that they have that ability too. If, if you or anybody that you know is a veteran experiencing uh, suicidal ideations. Please make them aware of this and please encourage them to call our hotline or to seek out treatment. Um, they don't have to worry about paying for it. And with that, I appreciate everything that you guys do for our veterans and, and thank you very much.
power. Smart. Thank you.